Hello, welcome to D&D. It's time for uh, the, the funny, known as, um, well, Forest of Blood, <laughs> episode one. It's the, uh, it's the Lovecraftian horror campaign. Woo! Don't we love horror? Yeah, I, I, I like horror in any way. Yeah, we can start right up. <laughs> so yes, uh, it's time. Uh, one of the players is currently not being so good, so uh, they'll be mostly typing in chat, but that'll be fine. I'll just read out loud what they're saying and stuff, but uh, yeah, we can start right up. Guys. Oh, thank fuck, it was the correct screen. I could have just spoiled everything. Alright, uh, <clears throat> so yes, uh, let me just undeafen. I am streaming, I am jiving, I am dancing and wiving. Uh, it's time I'm for session. Say your social security numbers. Yes, you can no longer say your social security. Uh, company, uh, ship it to get it. Yes. <clears throat> uh, so yes. Okay. Uh, no bad. Uh, we can start right up as I'll do the introduction. <clears throat> uh, bonjour. Welcome to Forest of Blood. Uh, where you'll be traversing into the Ever Forest, a uh, a very cool place. Uh, specifically, a forest that is technically "quote unquote" alive. It traps those within. Uh, but however, just recently, something has happened to allow others to walk in. So, <clears throat> exploration. Whoa, it's a Lovecraftian stuff and horror. Uh, but uh, as basically all of you had your zero point, well, zero point fives that uh, basically led you to here each. Uh, I will start by simply seeing who arrives first. No. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> and so, the first to arrive out of what seems to be quite a, uh, a tree of sorts. Uh, well, a little buddy from underneath basically just somewhat begins to vibrate furiously as suddenly it explodes as... Braska. Braska. Introduce yourself and your character. Can you guys hear me? Yes. Yeah. All right. Uh, hello. I'm Joey because it's uh, I go by Jack because it's uh, I'm an artist on the internet. Uh, I am playing Raksha, the only warlock, and I will continue to let action speak for herself. Uh, Void, did you grab the token that I made? I don't have control of this. Oh. Oopsie, I made the token. Hang on. Uh oh, you made your own. Okay, that's cool. Okay, one sec. <laughs> I worked so hard on it. Uh oh. <laughs> Out there. Uh hang on. And just a note, this yeah. lovely this lovely icon was created by Firescribe. Uh go check them out on Twitter. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Underscore Firescribe, well which is my stream. My yap. The other token has my art on it, unfortunately. Damn. Damn. Uh. Alright. Yeah. There I am. Yes. No, keep me this way. Damn. Looking away. It flips. I can't. I can't change it. Damn. Say yes. Uh, uh, Raksha will take a moment, kick off some visera, viscera. Hmm. You see, so, uh, you see what seems to be quite a, uh, a fine building, uh, basically opened up, uh, with the area here, and it seems to be called... Do -do 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 -do. The Fine Dying. Totally original name. Is the door open? Uh, as you walk up to the door, you find that, uh, yes, it is indeed open. As, uh, <clears throat> you find that the place itself is open. Whoa. I will uh, saunter on in. Yeah, yeah, so as you open up the door, uh, you basically see, uh, this person. 
Uh, yeah. Uh, as you see, uh, this fine looking lady who's currently dressed up in uh, what seems to be quite a um, fancy dress as she simply is looking at the book, sort of writing in, looks up at you and just goes, How can I help you? Yes, hello. I'm searching for. I'll pull out the piece of paper that I was get given. Um. Skilla. Hmm. Well, uh, yes, uh, I see you're here about the, um, the current course or adventure and that. You know the look from Soul Eater when they talked to, when they talked to Excalibur? Uh-huh. That's their face. Yes. Whoa. Wonderful. No? No, that's what I'm here for. Adventure, fun, daring tales of... Yes. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, I see. Well, you'll be wanted to meet with, um, uh, the handler then. Uh, Sin, he'll, uh, he'll be the one to, uh, well, give you the upcase and stuff. Uh, if you would like to meet them, uh, simply head on through the corridor that way and, uh, continue down until eventually it gets to a, uh, um, a stairwell. Alright, thank you. Not as, not as. That's not a stairwell. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, bo, bo, bo. The stairwell's here. <clears throat> As a. Uh... God, it's getting right now. What the fuck? Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Alright. As you basically uh, see the stairwell and sort of open up the door. Uh, you see a very posh room, uh, very big, it has many of, like, multitudes of food, uh, along with this person sitting on the front. Yeah. A, uh, black and white haired man around. who has glasses. Ah, oh, there's so many black and white haired men in these games. Yeah. Looking around a moment at, at the luxurious exterior. Excuse me, are you Sin? Yes, I'm Sin. And you're here for... Well... About the calling of adventures in need. Yes, yes, sign me up. Hmm. Well, I think it's less about sign up and more that, well... I would need to... Well... I'm looking for first and you're actually one of the first people to arrive. Uh, no would be others that I'm currently waiting for. I've been answered that, uh, well, I've been told that there were some people arriving from our intelligence. So, take a seat. All right. Great. No problem. Oh, blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> All right. As uh, as you sit down, you see uh, you see basically foods already been placed out. As he just simply says, you can enjoy the meals too. They were made for uh for people to arrive. She looks at the multitude of seats in the room. Ah. <laughs> uh. Oh, I'm just gonna talk, start taking food. <laughs> no one showed up for my birthday. <laughs> Grandpappy Sin made twelve burgers <laughs> for all his grandkids. None no one showed up. Uh. All right. 
<laughs> as a... Uh, the fuck? Okay. As you sit down, uh, the next person to arrive then. Uh, similarly, uh, how arriving is that they just sort of appear as from a what seems to be a portal, a bluish portal of sorts. As the next to arrive is... Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, look. Introduce yourself and your character. Derpy. Oh. Hello, hello. I am Derpy. Derpy. I'm still getting used to that. I am playing Dilopy, a satyr druid. And she's just here to make sure everyone has wonderful sleep. Alrighty then. Well, my, oh my. It's finally here. Here, still a bit weird. Oh. Hello. She just sort of once again looks up from the book as uh, she just simply looks at the new person to arrive and just goes, Ah, why, well, hello there. Nice to meet you. I've uh, been called here for the, a bit of a third chain. Hmm? Oh, um, do you have the letter or any proof? Yes, yes. She she pulls it. She'll nod and just go. All right. Well, uh, simply go down the corridor behind me and uh, continue down till you see a stairway. All right, already. Would you like a bit of cushioning while you're reading that book? Well, if you have something to offer, that would be appreciated. Of course. She, she'll reach into. Her quarters have the part where there's a bit of a combo and pull out of just in front of the pillow. Here you are. A bit of cushion. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> it seems to be a pretty expensive place. I never get the chance to visit these kinds of things. It's always of interest. I just do wonder if the pets are comfortable. Hello, Bo hello. <clears throat> Whoa. The next to enter. As, uh, you basically see, uh, well, you see uh, <laughs> an Odie or like this, uh, yellow, orange skin person, sort of just, yeah, eating right. Yes. <laughs> they are they are casually ignoring the new person just just eating whatever this alligator tail is. <laughs> that looks delicious. Whoa. Hello. Oh well hello there. Welcome. Uh you're here for the mission. Mm-hmm. Well, I have intelligence as others are still more arriving, but take a seat, enjoy the meals while you wait. That's what they're out of here for. Alrighty then. Would you like some extra cushioning for you while you're waiting? No, I'm fine, thank you. Okie dokie. Did you? Hello, friend. How's that meal? You get a cautious side eye. <laughs> he just gives a just a joyous smile. <laughs> Pulls out the pillow and immediately clocks out, face planting to the pillow. Oh. Alright. As an extra arrive. Yeah. Also, I keep forgetting to put rotation on people's tokens. There you go. Alright. As in, of course, next to arrive. All right. <laughs> uh, the next to arrive seems to be through, of course, a magical portal once again. As the one to simply uh, appear is, of course, 
I can't. Yeah. Ah, that's it. Introduce yourself and your character, Jay. Hello, I'm Shadow Jay. I'm playing Hyacinth, a Catleo Barbarian. Uh, so, it's gonna look around attentively and then just kind of throw it up, <laughs> tail up. You, <clears throat> you see that the building is called the Fine Dine. It literally has golden statues out of the fronts of what seems to be, uh, uh, chimeras, and along with uh, basically a sign on the front that uh, has like a bunch of like their menus and on deal days and such. Oh, what's the deal? Well, you cannot... <clears throat> it's too high for me. Do I have to jump <laughs> up there? <laughs> yes. Okay, I, I'll stretch up as far as I can. Pause <laughs> on the ridge. Uh, yes. What can you I see? You look at the sign. <laughs> Uh, it is currently the menu, uh, uh, Dragon's Ale, uh, and do 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 <laughs> Uh, currently on sale is the Dragon's Ale and Minotaur Beak Combo. Beak, uh, Minotaur Beak Combo. Well. Uh, he'll take note of that and then pop back down and start starting up the steps. Oh man, a door. <laughs> mm. Whoa. Not a door that doesn't open magically unless it does. <laughs> I'm gonna scratch at it. <laughs> you start scratching at the door. But <laughs> It does not magically open, however, the door does open and she looks down and is like, uh, hello. Uh, uh, he'll look at the woman so with slightly wide eyes and then he'll do that cat thing where they kind of like clean their back. But then when his head returns, there's a letter in his mouth. Oh. She looks a bit confused uh, before she sort of looks at the letter and just goes, Oh, um, was your, like, were you called or was your master called or something? No. Uh, all right, well, uh, do you, uh, do you understand me? Yeah. Nods. <laughs> Okay, they they go. Oh, all right. As uh, those just like gesture to come in as they have the door open. Ba -ba 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 -ba. <clears throat> now, uh, she'll sit back down as uh, she'll gesture to basically the corridor here and just go. Uh, if you follow down the corridor, uh, there will eventually be a uh, a little stairwell down. Don't worry, the uh, there's no door for it, so uh, you don't have to worry about getting trapped again. Mm hmm. All right, he's gonna start just walking then. Actually, no, he goes back for a second. He jumps up on the table and then starts eating this plant. <laughs> just takes a nibble. Um, it's pretty and good. It tastes. It tastes like a plant. <laughs> so it was real. Okay. Yes. Yeah, pretty well taken care of. Oh my gosh, it's such a long hallway. Four <laughs> legs. Bitta, bada, bitta, bada, bitta. Walk this way. Hug the side. Oh, oh no. You're lying in a bit of my head, you're, not, you're barely moving. <laughs> okay, well, I stopped moving, so let's see if it catches up. Oh. Poor Sham. Are uh, you at the corner edge? Right here. Okay, yeah. Uh, it caught up now. Okay. Oh. He sits down right here and looks at this person. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, on my screen, you're still at the beginning of the corridor. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> 
Dang, you're slowly okay. well, moving that. <laughs> maybe I should have just done one big movement. Oh, the uh, <laughs> it's just a load. It's a loaded screen. It's a loaded screen. <laughs> it is. There's a lot on this uh, map. Ah. Uh, Quick, somebody start giving video game hints. Ah, <laughs> yes. Did you know you can use an action? Thank you for listening to Void Pack. <laughs> Whoa. How, how's it going? <laughs> um. Uh, you're currently you're across here. from me. Is where yeah, I'm... You're, you're yeah, currently okay. here I'll if you can mind. see my arrow. <laughs> okay. I just won't <laughs> click that much then. That was, That's a little weird. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm literally just following you right now, like you're here, now here. <laughs> that's, that's canonically how long it took. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it's a bad. He took his. He took his whole last time. Okay, so you're here. Okay, uh, that's it. He sat down in front of this person <laughs> and looks up. I just all look down and just go. Why, well, hello there. I didn't know the animals were allowed to come through. You're right there, cat. Uh, does he still have the letter? He'll take the letter out mm -hmm. again. Just to show it. He raises his eyebrow as he goes, Oh, you were called here too? It nods. Hmm. Well, that is interesting. I hadn't seen any creature such as yourself before who was chosen, but, well, that is fine. Take a seat. You can sit down with the rest of them. There should be one more of you come in here. Uh, I'll just do one movement. He's going to hop onto the table at the end and sit down next to the lobster. Or scorpion? Cool. Lobster scorpion. <clears throat> uh, Sclobster. <laughs> I will believe whatever you tell me. Yes. Yes, Sculpster. Uh, alright. And then, of course, the last person for a thingy as I roll my... Whoa. <laughs> alright. As suddenly, uh, as all of you are basically sitting down eating the food, uh, that's when all of you basically hear what seems to be a loud crash. As right through what seems to be the skylight uh, glass ceiling. Uh, <laughs> a, uh, a person falls down right in the middle. As <laughs> <It's> Lysink. <laughs> you were just thrown from uh, by your blade here. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> My mongers. I don't remember if it was explained or not, but Eddie is not feeling extremely well, so he'll be typing instead of speaking. Speaking yeah, for yeah. the duration of this session. <clears throat> yeah, I said that during the start of stream. When I uh, signed up the thing. And consider me a reminder. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, 
But yes, I can ex yeah, I can explain the food in the meantime. Whoa. Oh. So yes. Uh alligator tail, Lamau. Uh <clears throat> it seems to of course be covered in what seems to be a soup along with carrots and different vegetables. Uh the pie is uh if anyone wants to pie, to know what's in the inside. Whoa. Uh do -do 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 -do. what's my notes on the foods? There they are. Uh, that is... Do, 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 do. <laughs> no bitch delight. It's like a little, uh, strawberry pie with, uh, with fairy dust on the inside of it. Uh, as for these, these are potatoes dipped in a weird sort of greenish, uh, sauce. Uh, the sauce has a very, uh, minty flavor to it. It's like mid sauce. Whoa, that's a real thing in British cuisine, by the way. Sounds pretty good. Yeah, I've never had it's really, something like that. It's really nice with meat, like uh, lamb. Mm. I just noticed that pig on the other side has wings. Yeah, they do that. Ah. Uh... Then, of course, there's octopus uh, tentacles wrapped around a uh, uh, tree. Not tree. I forgot what the word was. Uh. <coughs> Stick. <laughs> That's the word. <laughs> a skewer? Yes. A skewer. Okay. <laughs> I didn't really just use the jewelry or eating dust soft clothing, the crimson glue scars, this bait back still looking one. As his horns are made of obsidian ruby, etched creamy eyes of jet black ink, and red rubies. Shit. <laughs> Double A just sort of glows as uh everyone, including the uh, Sin, will sort of like hear the voice as well, as uh <clears throat> you just hear. Well, I oh, just I wanted us to be a bit first. After all, we weren't exactly in the correct place now, were we? This is an entirely different continent. A bit of magic there solves the problem. <laughs> if I had a nickel for every time a dragonborn came out of the sea that it smashed into the ground, I would have two nickels. <laughs> Okay. Which is weird, it happened twice. Just a single one. Ah, uh, Sister Sin. Oh, you still had a voice um, mod on when you said the thing about the Dragonborn. I think we were assuming <laughs> that was a character voice. Oh, <laughs> oops. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oops. <laughs> I didn't mean to have that. That was out of character. <laughs> if I had a nickel. <laughs> I, uh, I forgot to play seven. <laughs> oh, no. oh, no. Disconnected. Uh. <laughs> I think you can reconnect just by clicking it again. Uh -huh. Actually, what did what did extensive character? <clears throat> okay. 
He just simply answers, uh... Well, I would count the first one to be your other self. <laughs> there you go. Wait, what the fuck? The amazing digital circus is getting in a manga. <laughs> I mean, a lot of things get a manga. There's two episodes. <clears throat> oh. I mean, that's enough for so. cool drawings. <laughs> Alright, so why are we here, Jerry? So since Quinn's not talking about that. <laughs> You just hear basically from uh Pontosaurus is it just gestures uh to uh the man currently sitting with his uh the sword watching this, looking up at the ceiling in surprise, as he just goes Well, we're here to simply meet um the true enemies of Mother. Although of course this person doesn't seem it, but well, what's he? As uh <laughs> Sin just sort of just goes why, hello there, are you here to meet with Fear and Scylla about the whole adventure and stuff? We have a forest. Mm-hmm. Bum, 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 bum. There we go. Look at the Yes, and <laughs> I mean, yes. <laughs> well, if you are then, take a seat. You may enjoy the meal, so uh, I believe this is everyone who will be arriving for today. <laughs> Looks at the weird food. It's like a premium food. Seems to be from some oh. very expensive animals. Uh, even the potatoes are uh, like, they just wave at you. Just going, eat me, eat me, come on, eat me. Just like that. <laughs> I stab whatever potato is making that noise. <laughs> All of them are. <laughs> Uh, vegetables speak in Pharaoh, they're alive. <laughs> Not for long. <laughs> Damn, that's true. What the fuck? <laughs> Specifically, Fey, uh, Fey food. Little. But yes, as, uh, as you will take your seats then and, uh, start to eat the food. Then from the rest, uh, on the other side, we'll just basically start up then and just go 
Well, all of you are here for one reason or another. And, well, what I'm simply here to ask of you all is to, well, my employer, uh, Fear and Scylla. They have asked for a request of you to be able to enter into the lands that are usually difficult to enter. The Ever Forest, as the name is called. A place where many people are pulled in from across the world and trapped within the Eternal Fog. Though, well... Luckily, recently, there's been an issue in the barrier that's been blocking the forest away. And so we can use this opportunity to bring people such as yourselves in to attempt to rescue some people. The main objective, I'm gonna, though... I'm gonna jolt. <laughs> Sorry, mm -hmm. I'm gonna jolt Doipy or Dipley awake. Doipy? <laughs> what do you say in there? Me, 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 me. Uh, uh, oh. You're lightly jabbed with a fork as he's explaining everything. Oh. He is. <laughs> oh. So. Yes, I would in well, we would like you to, of course, enter into these lands to rescue who you can and to specifically do one thing, a task. You see, the lands on the inside, there is, of course, a few the castles that reside within the lands are currently firing up a beam of light into the very sky. A reddish light that people only explain it as it seems to be in the symbol of blood. And well, we would like you to investigate them to see if you can be able to find more about the causes of this and why it is causing the barrier to be weakened. Fortnite dances. <clears throat> oh my gosh. If you, have any, <laughs> if you have any questions, I would be obliged, as I, of course, am speaking for my employer. Are we getting any equipment, any provisions to help us, or are we expected to just go in? Well, as for provisions or anything, there is, of course, a, well, there is a store at the front of this uh, place, uh, just by the exit of the building. Uh, there is a woman who runs it called uh, Minodora. She, of course, can give you any supplies that you so need or ask for. And, of course, uh, as for the location where you would go... My employer's, uh, well, quite a capable man. He is capable of creating a domain of animals of peace, in a way. And he has recently just opened one up uh, nearby to allow you all to uh, transport through. There's a druid there that seems to be taking care of it for now. So once your mission is, well, once you are ready for the mission, you may go to that grove. Anything that we need to be aware about when we get to the route. Well, not much is known on the inside of the forest itself. However, what we do know is that, un <clears throat> is that those who are not exactly pacted with the Ever Forest will go insane, overtaken by madness itself. It's why my employer Scylla is well. She, of course, is attempting an offer unto you. If you should enter into that portal, you may, of course, enter into a semi-pact of sorts with a being. The pact itself is with Scylla, and, well, it will be able to also aid you as you are borrowing their power. There is... <clears throat> Although you will only have this, uh, power... Uh, this borrow ship as long as you are within the Ever Forest. What the fuck was that? Oh. <laughs> yeah, they're off. You... I got jump scared. <laughs> oh, why? 
Oh. <laughs> I go give him one bit and I forgot it plays the fucking... <laughs> the fucking... The uh, computer shutdown noise. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Here he is. <laughs> Thank you for the one bit, Elizabeth. <laughs> Raksha will take her na napkin, uh, set it on her plate, and start heading out. Oh, I'm waiting for Eddie to finish typing. Oh, bah, bah. oh right, sorry. Yeah, it's all good. <laughs> Among Us. Also, Dilip, as you uh, as you eat the meat, uh, you're eating the uh, tail one, right? Yes. She just look. She was looking over and just grabbed the random piece, of, closest piece of meat. Oh. That being which the. <clears throat> Yes, the uh, the meat itself seems to be somewhat uh, uh quite tasty, uh, as it seems to be quite a uh, what's the word uh, uh, it's very pure. Usually, when meat is uh like cooked and stuff, there's usually like uh things like degradation. Uh, transportation usually affects the taste. However, this feels like well, tastes like it's actually been like. Extremely cooked here without any transportation. Like recent uh cookings. Yummy. Mm-hmm. Mm. Set of magic. Oh. He'll sort of nod as he would just go. <clears throat> well, you do not have to abide by oaths for the pack some sorts. These are just simply temporary powers. The ones who will be handing them out to is a pure entity. They're not exactly well unclean. In fact, they are simply one of the chosen who are of a divine order. That is what I simply know. Is. Usually the price of like meals like this are like 50 gold per bite. Mm -hmm. mm. Pure. <laughs> 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 Fucking. Uh, just for context, uh, Scylla was a previous player character uh, from the Abyss campaign. <laughs> And they're currently in chat at the moment, just going, how much gold did I spend on the food? <laughs> <laughs> Enough. <laughs> exactly, you just dropped the 2,000 gold, it's fine. <laughs> we ate one piece of meat and left. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Casual 2k. It's been a year, Carp. You're rich. <laughs> Jerry, eat all the food. You don't have to say that twice. <laughs> it's just the fucking blade, like, just has, like, a uh, arm come out as it takes the entire bowl inside of it. 
there, little kitty. It's a fairly oh. long way to get there. If you're going to offer to pick him up, he, he'll go with you. Picks him up, pulls out a uh, bit of cushion, puts her on the show. All right. <laughs> it looks content. <laughs> you're my friend now. We're having tacos later. He's going to oh. rub his face on your shoulder. Gives me tacos. <laughs> Indeed, free meals are the best. Bum 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 bum. Right. Uh, as for the location of the uh, store, uh, it's the. Yeah. If you need any supplies. Oh. Jericho just goes. Ah, <clears throat> uh, you wouldn't have to worry. The pact and the power that dear old Scylla gives is only a bit of a, well, a bit of their level in a way. A bit of their power. It's not going to really affect me since it's not going to be me in general. <laughs> Quick wave. <laughs> there, the sign says basically general store here. Uh, I have no idea why you drank that blood. It just sounded and looked normal. <laughs> I think we came to a sushi restaurant. Whoa. <laughs> uh, I can explain the inside as uh, as you open the door and enter on in. Uh, you see basically five seats uh, along with basically a bunch of like equipment and stuff in the back. Along with uh, it's also just like a fine dining place for sushi. Yes. As you see, uh, an elven lady, uh, basically just seems to be knitting on the front of the, uh, desk. Oh. Hello, hello. She, like, looks up from her concentration as she just goes, Oh, hello there. How, um, how can I help you? Looking for a meal or sort? Potentially supplies for our journey. To what do we need? Everyone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't have any money. <laughs> you I have a hundred gold. Do we have money? You, you will sell with hundred gold. gold. Okay. okay. Wait, I think I have money for my character background, don't I? No, I don't. Okay, I have 100 gold. Yay. <laughs> it's your good old starting money. <clears throat> As a uh, still just looks over to go, Well, uh, if you're in need of any food, I can, of course, can give some benefits, along with, of course, uh, my store here. Just some goodies to come along. <clears throat> I would like to look at what's in the store. Is it, is it plainly visible? Um, there we go. <laughs> That's Jericho's response. <laughs> As a... Yo, yo. Alright. Uh, as for basically the uh, the store itself, <clears throat> as you uh, take a look over to see what they have, uh, they have some potions in the back, uh, some what seems to be some glowing like stones, 
uh, a bunch of what seems to be uh, uh, transparent cups. Uh, <clears throat> well, along with uh, some more like basically uh, like ice frozen looking things. If there's anything that interests you. Raksha will point to the potions. Uh, <clears throat> alright. No, just go. Oh, these things. Well, uh, they, I spent a few time in my alchemy in my younger years. Um, well, uh, I have, of course, some basic healing potions. Um, <clears throat> even that of things like, uh, potions of haste or, uh, or my favorite one is, of course, potions of, um, of aid. Mm. Mm. Yeah. How much are the <clears throat> health potions? Oh, well, the health potion is about 12 gold. Understood, and the glowy rocks. Oh, those? Those are, uh, rune gems. Uh, they're basically little things that you could slot into, uh, weapons or armor, and they give you little effects. You see, I was a, uh, I was a rune smith in my younger years. We look around the same age. Ah, uh, thank you. <laughs> she, like, blushes. Is concerned in immortality. <laughs> Whoa. Do you have a list? Um, a book somewhere of what they do? No, oh, I can just explain. Uh, <clears throat> basically, out yeah, of character on the explanation. Uh, there are four rune slots, basically. Uh, well, through four runes, you can only slot one into your armor or weapon. You can't slot them into both. Basically, you can only gain uh, the effects of one rune at a time, basically. Uh, uh, and there are four options to choose from. Uh, do -do 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 -do. Uh, they are 40 GP each, though. So, pretty expensive. <clears throat> Alright. Uh, Rune of Sharpness. Yes, Rune of Pointy. Uh, Rune of Decay. Uh, Rune of Health. And the final one is uh, Rune of Life. <clears throat> uh, I could go through the whole one. So, Rune of Sharpness. Uh, you can either put this on your weapon or your armor, and it will turn it into plus one. So you can get plus one armor or plus one weapon. <clears throat> this does not stack with uh, like other plus one weapons, though. <laughs> Shopping. Yeah, beginning of campaign, of course. You get shopping. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Rune of Decay. Uh, basically, Rune of Decay is that you deal an additional 1d4 damage on your weapon attacks. Uh, specifically, uh, in uh, necrotic damage. <clears throat> uh, then, Rune of Health. Uh, you get plus 10 additional max HP. Uh, as long as you're wearing this rune either on your weapon or armor. <clears throat> And then, uh, Rune of Life. Uh, whenever you restore hit points, you regain uh, an additional two. Is that, is that to any play player or just to yourself? Yourself. <clears throat> oh, okay. Basically, when the Rune Bearer is healed, they regain additional two from like any healing source. Uh, 
Oh, uh, yes. Uh, and they have 40 GP each. <laughs> Among Us. Well, Swordman, do you want one? I'll purchase the health potions. I think it would be good to have some spares. Oh. Thanks, Mugosu, myself. I don't tend to frequent the use of weapons, so. <laughs> wow. Mm hmm. Rune of life or rune of health is pretty good. -y. As for uh, uh, everything else, the ice is uh, literally just basically uh, <clears throat> the rune, uh, those ice cubes there, uh, they are simply uh, called um, uh, fast nourishment uh, supplies. They're about 5 GP each, and well, Basically, you put the ice cube into your mouth and then swallow it, and it will give you basically the same amount of uh, water nourishment as a day of uh, drinking. You drink it, then you basically drink a liter in like one go. <laughs> my, my, that's terrible oh my for your God. bladder. Yeah, no, that's does not sound pleasant for later. But if you're incredibly thirsty, then that. That's good. Is there a can of halfling liver pate <laughs> on the shelf? <laughs> Are you asking that in character? No, I'm going to look for it. Okay. Do I need to roll? <laughs> I can just imagine this cat's been silent the entire time when everyone's been together. And the next thing you're just like, have you got a halfling lung? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to talk yet. Uh, <clears throat> I don't want yes, to talk as, yet. Okay. Uh, as you uh, look across, there is indeed not a halfling lung here. Uh, as they do not sell those here. However, uh, the most that you can find is basically these like sushi things. Uh, and because of your nature of being a witch's uh, cat, uh, you do feel that they do have a magical nature about them. I'll, like, paw the platter so that I can get the her attention <laughs> as if asking. They just sort of look down and just... Oh, you have to pay for those. Hmm. It looks like they well, want it. How much would it? Oh, for the, uh, the food palettes, those one. <clears throat> oh god, my voice is changing. Anyway, as for the food palettes, uh, of those, they are, um, well, they're little, uh, minor boons that, uh, you eat a bit. A bit beneficial in a way, you'd say. Um, upon eating it, basically, it gives you, uh, a little, feels much more stronger. Uh, as... Uh, ten gold. Temporary bones, of course. How much, how much do you want, little buddy? Is the whole platter ten gold? Or just <laughs> one bit? Uh, one. <laughs> Basically, it, so I have a, uh, a D25 table. <clears throat> uh, when you eat it, you get a random, uh, like, boon, basically. Uh, but okay. it's about <clears throat> it's about ten gold for uh one of them. Either it is a bonus action because drinking potions and stuff as well. Uh, uh, one 
One tap for just one of them, or two for the whole thing. Oh my gosh, it's too much holding. <laughs> He's gonna not respond to Dilvi, and he'll do that thing where he like goes to like his back, clean himself a little bit, and then he'll have ten gold <laughs> in a little pouch. <laughs> well, all right. So just one. Mm. As you uh, take out the gold, they will simply nod and just go, Ah, oh, you're paying. All right. Uh, here you go. As they'll hand you basically and take the gold. You have now acquired one sushi. It can last up to a week. Oh, interesting. Oh. I'll take one as well. It seems the little cat might, might be here. You know what she wants. She'll grab from her bag, then go and place it. Right, she'll take it and you two gain one sushi. Uh, I may as well roll the effect now. Hang on. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> First roll of I the campaign! Like First I don't, of the campaign. I don't know how to feel about it. Yeah. That, but <laughs> uh, I love it. It's always there. This is what I get for being a what a... <laughs> yeah. I'm putting this in quotes. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> if anyone was going to get it, it was going to be the Void Kitten. That belongs to a witch. Alright, 13. Alright, uh, do 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 do. Uh, you get this. When you take the dash action, you can move an extra 10 feet. So that's once you eat this, the effect will last for 24 hours. Is that... Uh, when you take the dash action. Okay. Yes. <laughs> uh, That's for both of us? Or just one? I I'm rolling for you. <clears throat> nice. Uh, oh. <laughs> A one. Oh boy. Alright. <clears throat> <laughs> Uh, do, 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 do. <laughs> Foul weather occurs more often for the next 24 hours, such as heavy rain, blizzards, and standstorms. So, yes. Uh, basically, it just makes you slightly a bit unlucky or lucky, depending on how you view it. <laughs> or forever eats. Well. So yes. And you can basically hold the food for a week. As for, uh... As for Lysinx, as, uh... You have an interest in, uh... Both of them, they'll just go on over and just go, Ah, if you would like to buy both of the runes, that's fine. Uh, that would be about 80 gold. Alright, they'll take the 80 GP and uh, hand you basically uh, two runes. Uh, basically, uh, since you have selected two, I can tell you how that works. <coughs> uh, you could switch them out basically on a long rest, like you could take a rune out and then switch it over. But you can only gain the benefit of one rune at a time. Unless you have the uh, rune cover feet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Oh wait, no, you're a fucking rune blood hunter. Never mind, you get you have just an additional rune for you. <laughs> yes. I uh, for gore. Yeah, that counts as a, a rune thing for you. Rune mid slot. Wow. <clears throat> One of your blood hunter rune options. <laughs> Me for gore. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <clears throat> Texas Moon Hunter. I, as uh, she'll just look on over. You need anything else? Uh, I'll take the healing driven three health potions. Don't nod. Bubba, right? <clears throat> you have now acquired. Is that the ruin of life or the ruin, ruin of health? Uh, uh you... which one? The one that the one that healed an extra two whenever you heal. Heal of life. Thank you. Health is the That's one that increases insane. max HP. Should be a bit of use for me just to make sure everyone is well. I'll take the rune of health and some potions as well. Down nod. Uh, th I'll take three healing potions. Right. <clears throat> just be sure to reduce that from your gold. How much was that? Uh, uh, the two for six. Thirty-six gold if you're taking three. Okay, thirty-six gold. Okay, go. Yes. <laughs> so you both should have 24 gold left, I believe. Yeah. <clears throat> Goes to the bathroom. <laughs> oh. Uh, I will... Hyacinth will, like, motion towards two HP potions. And a rune of health. All right. You have should a be very cautious letting the cat walk towards the potions on. on the <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it when when it when he's pointing at it, he is tapping them gently, and they are moving towards the edge. <laughs> She's like slowly putting them back every time. All right. Uh, as for, uh, you, Lysa, as, uh, <clears throat> as you basically, uh, <laughs> start carving the, uh, runes onto it, you just hear the fucking sword just go, <laughs> Practicals. <laughs> oh, oh, I feel powerful. I'm strong. Because <laughs> <clears throat> you managed to apply the runes. There's just a guy in the other stall listening to this. <laughs> you just had the flush of a toilet from the other side, and she's just like, what the fuck is happening in there? <laughs> quickly, quickly. They don't wash their hands, they just leave. <laughs> just fucking... <laughs> just... I... <laughs> How much were the healing potions again? Uh, 12 gold. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Wash his hands. Whoa. <clears throat> you find that the water is really clean. Holy shit, they're using magic. <laughs> the, uh... <clears throat> you can attempt to make me an arcana check if you would like to make the funny first roll of the entire campaign. <laughs> magic. <laughs> 
washing my hands. Uh, more to check on the funny sink, but yes. <laughs> As there's no pipes coming out from the uh, sink. Oh, same for the toilet. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. oh, that's all right. Drugs are rich people. <laughs> oh. Welcome back. Alright. <clears throat> I like how the room for the bathroom is significantly smaller. Like, at least a, at least a, a third smaller than the room only for Cokes. Uh-oh. Yes. Yeah, like <laughs> it's smaller right than the Cokes. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, yes. Uh, she'll just look over and just go, is there anything else you need? Looks to three other adventurers. I'm fine now. I got what I need. Everything else I'm set for. <laughs> the cat hops back onto Dilipi's pillow or shoulder, whatever's out. If there's just a little cushiony, like a like a like a slight little rag that's a little puffy. Okay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you know, right there. I don't want to flip the token around because she's asymmetrical by design, so it doesn't work. <laughs> Right there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, he reaches over to poke one of the horns. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Are you ready to there. go? Do you want to buy anything else? Also, yeah. as you do, as you do that, uh, if you're obvious about doing that, she's going to grab your hand. She's just being slow, just being cautious, and if she reacts, she just pulls back. Like, Sorry, just carry my phones too. Points to the little tree branches. Oh, I thought that was like a headband. Need some phones. I don't know why they grow like this, but I don't mind. I, I do enjoy a bit of nature to take with me. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I believe you start with camp supplies in your uh, dungeon pack and stuff. Yes. Oh, bubba. Bu bu mm -hmm. just, yeah. just assume so. Yes. Uh, as for health potions, yes, that's fine. Uh, that'll be 24 gold. <coughs> uh, if he's short on gold, the cat will drop <laughs> them on the counter. <coughs> Whoa. This cat just paid. <laughs> uh, I could pay as well. I'm almost at any pace. I have enough for the other. <laughs> this cat is pretty smart. That's <clears throat> cat. Pat, pat, pat. <laughs> yeah. The old lady will give a good old smile to see the generos generosity given for her as she will slip 
uh, you, uh, Lysus, three health potions instead of two. Whoa. Bargaining. Whoa. <laughs> Yes, no problem, no problem. It's nice to see the younger years with the, well, nice generations and stuff, yes. I hope you go well in whatever adventures you get. Hope your business is real. Do you want a cushion before we go leave, by the way? No, oh, it's fine, it's fine. After all, you should keep it for yourself. Uh, enjoy your time, Zangan. But it's always good to have a cushion. And don't worry about it, I have lots in this thing. Okay. She p pulls a little from the little cotton uh, ball in her stuff, or stuff. Pulls out a giant pillow. Yeah, makes things a bit more comfortable while work working here, I think. Not as, not as. Mm -hmm. A little, the little staff is the portal has a portal to the con dimension. Oh. All pillows, cushions. Mm -hmm. Onwards we go then. Have a good day. Shadow, if you want, you can give away the access to your token. Yeah, that I was gonna gonna say. Yeah, he... gonna Let me remember how to do. If click I'm token, ownership, and then just click on my name. And then press uh -huh. on and go. We will worry about that later. I do not want to slow down. Because <laughs> my I'm blind, I'm blind. And we yes. will keep going. Oh, it can do it as well. Okay. Yeah, I can change permissions, don't worry. Hang on. Ownership. I'll just give ownership all so everyone can ragdoll you around. There you go. Uh <clears throat> I am light. You ain't just the cat. Well, all right. So, as uh, as you basically go through uh the front, uh, luckily I forgot that Sin also just gives you the directions. Uh, <coughs> as it's basically this way. Uh, <coughs> as to the uh east of the building, basically you see a uh, a large sort of large amount of plant life, and the feel the place feels very special. Oh. As, <clears throat> wow. as basically as you continue on your way, as you must gather your party before venturing forth, which you already have, Fog, as I will make the map visible and move your tokens over. <clears throat> ah, not here. There we go. <clears throat> as, uh, <clears throat> yeah. As basically as you follow the path. It's only about one to two minutes to get there as it doesn't seem quite far. You can literally see like basically the restaurant like down the like hill uh, before you eventually enter into what seems to be this rocky grove. Uh, and the place seems to be very uh, somewhat magical in nature. The plant life is sort of grown magically and you hear, of course, this like thrum of what seems to be bells, as it seems that the plant life itself is speaking. Not in the humanoid or common, but among themselves. Among us. Goodness, hmm? Is that what they're saying? Among us? Yeah, 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 they're just going among us, among us, among us. Uh, Eddie has asked someone to move him because he's in pain, so I'm moving him. All good. Just like dragging him by the hand. Just by the collar. Hmm. 
Alright. All right. <clears throat> As you basically walk into the middle of the grove, you see what seems to, of course, be a pretty enchanted fountain, uh, along with a person sort of standing before it. As you see this person. Uh, a woman with large, long hair that seems to be made out of water itself. As uh, she at the moment just seems to be uh, like uh, moving the water about with uh, uh, shaped water. As uh, she seems to be moving the water, she's basically watering the plants as they move through. <coughs> Um, excuse me. She jumps hello? up from her surprised. Turns. Oh, um, hello. Hello. How can I help you? Hi. I'm Anze, a uh, druid of the land in this place. Uh, like, uh, what are you doing here? You were here to, like, look at all the plant? It's so cute, isn't it? Mm-hmm. It's very pretty. Now, we're the adventurers, Sir Skilla and the other demon person. Oh, you're with like, uh, with like Mr. Fear and all that, then, right? Yes, that's the one. Oh, yes, yes. He was the one who, like, made it and found this place, and then, like, uh, he said that I could use this place as long as I kept, like, the animals safe and all that, and, uh, well, now I'm here. Yeah, 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 I know about the mission. You looking to go into the forest? Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I see, I see. Well, um, yeah. Uh, I, of course, can let you. I have, a, I have like, two stride, which, like, allows me to, like, go through trees. And it's, like, really cool and allows me to go through trees. Don't you love trees? Yeah, I do. It's always, there's always a nice place to sleep. Mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <clears throat> well, uh, so... Uh, if you want, uh, if you want to go already, uh, like, that's fine. Like, I don't really mind if you don't want to speak to me or anything like that. Like, you know, uh, but, like, uh, if you want to, like, go already, um, well, I can take you to, like, uh, the artifact that, like, lets me, like, go through. It, it's right there, as, like, she gestures to the, uh, the funny orb. Yes. In the last, in the, in the moment, we're supposed to be getting some uh, magical power to stop us from going insane. <clears throat> is that you? Oh, yeah. That's what like the orb is. It used to be like this really like reddish orb that like uh, that Mister like Fear had all the time on him, and now it's just like used as like this that allows like a connection to like souls and stuff. So once you like go through, you just like. Make a deal and a pack and stuff with like the aspects inside, and then uh, you just go on. I myself have also done one, of course, since I'm a druid of this place. Are you all ready to go? Anything else? A cat map? Okay. Nods and yawns. Oh, was so I yes to going or yes to the cat now? Yes to going. No, they look towards the orb. Whoa, we must under the orb <clears throat> to progress our then. At as a. Uh... <clears throat> As you step forwards to uh, basically head towards the orb, everyone, please make me a perception check. Boy, let's hope all these macros work. Yes. Woohoo! Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Nature. What a scene. Who needs to see? <laughs> Eddie, you want me to just hit the perception check for you? 
still here? Yes. I have an oh. negative. Whoa. <laughs> All right. Among Us. Mm -hmm. As a, uh, as you basically all oh, somewhat uh is that your grandmother is helping? <laughs> <clears throat> As all of you seem to somewhat uh walk forward, uh <clears throat> all of you basically hear something out of place. Uh, however, of course, uh Dilip and uh Lysus <clears throat> Yeah, it's all good. Uh and Lassus, as basically what your uh, first notice is that the statues, uh, specifically the statues here, here, and the rock, rock formations up at this top, are beginning to shake as they somewhat basically, uh, <coughs> whoa, as they basically begin to break open, <coughs> uh, as coming forth from it, you find, is this, ba -ba -ba -ba. Uh, as basically breaking out from the statue. Yes! Oh. Hello! It is oh, I! Skeleton 2! <laughs> as you nice to meet As you'll see, these skeletons will basically burst out of the rocks themselves as they will simply go, I am here to fight you! <laughs> as they raise up their weapons. As, uh... Oh boy! <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> I we had to teach you how to fight. <laughs> oh my gosh! <clears throat> At this point, you hear the cat speak. <laughs> Are we for real? <laughs> I know how to fight. Oh, dang it! I keep clicking that by accident. Sorry. Um. Yes. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Do I not know how to fight? <laughs> it does not matter, for I am here to give you the tutorial that I need. As <laughs> he just basically flaunts his weapon, he starts like doing the fucking <laughs> over rambunctious like fucking body gestures that he's ready to wrap up with his weapon. <laughs> <clears throat> as yes. Uh as for um uh bo -bo 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 -bo, there is uh Dilip and uh Hyacinth, uh you are surprised. <laughs> oh okay. <clears throat> oh as yes. Uh, uh, I believe you mean Rock Raksha and Hyacinth. I am uh, pretty sure Doip is eighteen. Oh seven. wait, yeah. Yeah, okay, I I had to scroll up. <laughs> How can you slow your turn? <laughs> ah, I'm angry, I'm ready to fight. <laughs> you may roll for initiative. Uh, <clears throat> however, I'll probably end it early here, as I am very tired. <laughs> yeah. But, I'm keeping that. Yes. Why does it... Oh my gosh. this token off of? Oh, that's, uh... Isn't that Easton's? No, who's Showstopper? Something from one of the Chrono ones. It might have It might have been Adora's. Oh, it's Adora's. I thought I, yeah. I thought I changed it all over, but yeah. whatever. Yeah, it's I Adobe's. Roll initiative. It's oh, god PM. fucking damn it. I have the old initiative macro stills. Hang on. One second. It's Waiting. basically... I tried adding in a code in ages ago, which makes you auto be added to initiative. However, it's DM only. It works now. <clears throat> I'll change your thing to oh. 21 again. Whoa. As yes, uh, one second, because I will add the skeletons. Uh... But then I'll just end it here, so uh, we can start up next time for the uh, for the skeletons. Yeah. God, I love how I have auto sort on my initiative button. All right. <clears throat> mm.
Oh, yes. I hope you enjoyed today's session one. <laughs> ba, 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 ba. I didn't even get to play. Yeah. yeah. Ah. There you go. Oh, I, yeah. I, I have perished. Ba, ba, ba. I, I have perished. I don't know where I am. Oh. You're underneath the uh, uh the cat. <laughs> oh. Is the cat not <clears throat> small for you? No, it is. Yeah. I was just I was just zoomed out a bit. So oh. I didn't. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, thank you for joining. Uh, I'll be sure to be up then as I uh, I end stream. Bah, bah, bah. All right. And yes, rest, Eddie. <laughs> All right, yes, be rest. I hope you enjoyed today's session. It was good. Uh, and of course, we'll be a bit more sure since, of course, Eddie's not feeling so good. So I don't want to force him through a uh, fucking skeleton RP. Well, he's sick, and, you know, uh, the skeletons are sort of, you know, terrifying, awful entities of the world. And yes, thank you once again, Miller's Dead, for the bits. <laughs> what the bit? It. <laughs> Got it. Terrified me. <laughs> but yes. <clears throat> As for, uh, uh yes, uh, Lamau, uh, they, they're employed. Why would Scylla, like, waste their issues with that when they're rich, Lamau? They want to go save their brother. <laughs> but yes, are we ending here? And of course.